Welcome, FLAM is a La Echo Lee S3 and today I'll show you a couple of tweaks and tricks that I can do on this device. So we're going to begin with the remote control, which will allow you to control your TV um, using the device itself. And number one, you would want to go into the uh, tools and then remote control right here. And then right here, tap or connect or let TV. And basically what it wants is for your TV to be uh, connected to the same network and it's going to start looking for it and hopefully connect to it and you will be able to just use this as a remote control. Okay, so moving on, we're going to go into the color mode of the display. So you go into the settings and under the display, you will find color mode right here. And by default, it's set to well, the one that is right now. But I can set it to, for instance, vivid or natural or soft, depending on how you like it. Each one of them has a little bit of a different color signature. And once you are satisfied with the one that you picked, you can just tap on OK and it stays that way. And moving on, we're going to go into the airplane mode, which uh, normal plain old boring airplane mode just disconnects you from everything, uh, which kind of doesn't help anybody. But in certain case, uh, occasions, you might actually need it for if you're struggling with call quality and when you're talking to someone and you're losing constantly like what they're saying, uh, enabling and disabling the airplane mode, just doing basically this is good enough. So it will disconnect from the current cell tower and reconnect to a closest one to you at the moment and hopefully improve the call quality. Yeah. So moving further on, uh, we're going to go into the um, dual apps which will allow you to have two different apps or well, same app two different accounts on an app and you can basically switch between them so to do it you would go into the settings again and find dual app wherever that is actually oh, there it was and for me i only have one and because i'm not even logged in i can't even enable it but um, actually it's not even installed so if you have pre-installed apps on or on your device already you'll have more options here and all you do is just select it and log in and then you'll be able to switch between them then moving on we're gonna go into the uh, developer options and just the animation speed now for me i already have it enabled but you will not see them by default so you have to go into about phone and go to where is it Normally it's build version, but it looks like, okay, so it's gonna be just a build. There's no build version, there's build. Tap on it seven times, and for me where it says, you no need, you are now a developer. For you, it will give you a countdown of taps left till it is enabled. And if you have some kind of protection set of pin pat pattern or password, you'll have to confirm it before it is enabled. And once you do, when you go back, you will see it right here as I have. So you can go in here, go all the way down, and you should find somewhere a little bit higher, window animation scale, transition animation scale, and animation duration scale. And you can change each one of them to reduce the animation of the device, and also improving how quick you can access apps based on that. So now it's set to half speed, and everything will be a little bit faster than it was previously. You can also set it to off if you wish to, and uh, that will just remove the animations altogether so you don't have to wait at all the app will just literally appear instantaneously on the screen and the last thing that i wanted to show is the power on and off function which will allow you just to simply set a power on on and off timer right here um, now as you can see by default it will be disabled but i already have it enabled and what you need to do is just set uh, for instance power off time so when it, the device shuts off and you can choose what whatever time you like tap on ok uh, set power on time sure and you can set it for instance on the morning so you basically have the device being completely off for the entire night and also because of that you will lose a little bit less battery and also help your phone perform better because it will every time it turns off it clears its cache data and all the temporary files 
you can just tap on OK. And now the device will turn on and off on its own at 11 p.m. and turn back on at 7 a.m. the next day. So that would be all of it. And if you found these tweaks and tricks helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.